Hey, welcome back to Home Studio Pro. This time, I'm here to explain something that people ask about all the time, and they think it's complicated, but in all honesty, it's very simple. They want to know how I pull off these presentations with me on camera, and then the graphics off to the side, and I push buttons, and they change, and what's coming up next here? Wait, sample slide? What is this? What am I doing here anyway? I'm here to show you that these graphics are nothing more than... Oh, Whoa, let's pull back the curtain here big time. Nothing more than a keynote presentation that I use on my Apple computer. I mean, literally, there it is right now. I'm modifying it, and I've got a couple different slides here. If I want to jump back in, I'll just hit play, and there we go. It animates right on. I put myself back on camera. Now, this is all set up in a complicated fashion, which I'm, I'm not going to explain all of that, like how I use the A10 Mini Pro ISO switcher. But I'll just say that with my Stream Deck, with software called Companion by BitFocus, I'm able to push buttons that are set to macros and, and give you like that shot right there. Or how I want to go back to a little two by one box. That's what I call this because the screen takes up two thirds and I take up about a third of the screen space. Uh, but it, it literally is that simple. I mean, let me... Let me knock down the keynote for just a second. Let me bring you, yeah, back to full screen of my computer right now. I mean, this is literally it. I, I make a keynote presentation and I, I look through the slides. You want to go back to the beginning of this one? It is literally this simple, okay? Back on camera, two by one box. I play that out, right? So I'm off to the right. It's off to the left. There's no editing involved in any of this. I don't need to go back and change graphics or add them later. I'm literally going through this presentation slide by slide. And I use the forward arrow on the keyboard. I've got another button on my stream deck if I want to advance that way or if I want to return back to the very beginning, which I'll just kind of sequence us through now. So everything's animated. I've kind of improved that on this channel over time, how I animate things. There's one slide. It'll go to slide number two. Just more meaningless text here. Literally having some fun with that. And then the last one, get ready, Brody, to start winding things down. Okay, I'll do just that. And that brings me to the end of this video. Yeah, just to simply show you what's possible with Keynote, what's possible with your A10 Mini Pro switcher. And there's a couple different, um, I should also show you and tell you, there's a couple different versions and variants of what I can do. You're obviously seeing this camera and now my GoPro camera, which is up there. But but going back to another thing that I can do, I can also put myself in this little small window off to the side. Now I've called this one picture in picture right because I'm on the right and it's a little bit of a, like a picture in picture setup. Um, but this is also a possibility. Again, Keynote is full in the background. I'm just placing my camera shot with a little border graphic, a little uh, mortise graphic right over it. And that's it. It literally is... As simple as this. So Keynote on your Mac, A10 Pro, uh, A10 Mini Pro by Blackmagic Design. They are huge friends of everything I do here on this channel and this style of presentation. So uh, let me know what you think about this secret now revealed of how I do this. How do you do it? Maybe you want to try doing a video just like this. Let me know in the comments section below. Again, if you like this content, subscribe to the channel. And if this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you next time.